how does working on proprioceptive balance while you're exercising make you stronger? Let me explain. I was talking to a client by the name of Matt and he started using one of the treadmills that does not have a motor and it has a little bit of an arc to it. What he noticed is when he was running on that treadmill, his heart rate would spike very, very quickly and he wanted to know what in the world is going on. He's run on a traditional treadmill in the past and he noticed that his heart rate takes quite a while to get elevated and then it kind of levels off with no problem. Well, he jumped on this treadmill that has no motor and what happens is this belt is literally driven by the athlete running and landing and pushing on the belt. Well, I wanted to put a video together on this because Matt's bewilderment was how come my heart rate went up so much quicker and why was my average heart rate higher? And the answer is perceptive balance. When you look at the human body, we have three dimensions of movement. We have the front and the back, we have the left and the right, and we have what's going on and above our belly button. So what I like to always, what I would like you to be thinking about is, have you ever noticed, especially for those of you who are around uh, snow and ice during the winter, and when you almost go to lose your balance, how quickly your hands will go out? That's a perfect example of how quickly our body will counterbalance through perceptive three dimensions of movement. If you can kind of think of those as interchangeable, you move in a three-dimensional movement and the lack of balance causes us to fall over. It causes us to slip and fall. It causes other challenges. Now, for those of you who are into athletics, no matter what your sport of choice is, perceptive balance plays a significant role. I want you to take a look at this heart rate chart. This is actually from Matt running on the treadmill and it gives you a good idea of what he was talking about. Why is his heart rate going up so incredibly quickly? Well, the answer is he's using more muscle. The more muscle you utilize, the higher the heart rate will be. So for those of you who do something like push and pull a motorcycle, you've got a 200 pound plus motorcycle, it's going to have a higher heart rate impact on the body than say swimming, which has zero impact and hydrostatic pressure. Now you say, how is that relevant to Matt's original question? Well, it's directly relevant. As you're working on proprioceptive balance, and I did that on purpose, right? I'm moving in a three-dimensional plane, I engage more and more muscle. So when you're running on a treadmill that has no motor, you're responsible for finding that sweet spot as to how far forward do you lean to get the belt moving. And you'll notice that even if you move one degree backwards, the treadmill will almost, the belt will almost come to a complete stop. So you, it forces you in that situation where you're like, okay, literally within a millimeter, one way or the other, the belt's either moving quickly or it starts to get a little bit more staggered and interrupted, or it may even just come to a complete stop. The cool part about it is if you film somebody running on one of these treadmills from behind, you'll notice that they're constantly moving in all three dimensions. Like we set cameras up on the, from the side in the back and you can see the athlete is drifting back and forth on the belt. If you look at it from the side, you can see they're falling forward and falling backwards. These are tremendous treadmills to work with. Um, if you're in the gym, I would encourage you to stand on one leg and do your strength exercises. This is another reason why we don't want you to use fixed machinery because unfortunately the machinery takes this exact subject out and away from the body. It removes the need for your body to focus on balance. It's much more difficult to stand on one leg and do a shoulder press or a bicep curl or a tricep kickback than if you're sitting on a machine working the same amount of muscle. Please give it a shot. Now, when we're looking at, I, I kind of want to go down a bunny trail for just a quick moment. I'm not interested in getting into an online argument with anybody about how much weight can I move standing on one leg versus using a machine. What we always say is balance and strength have to work together. If the, I refer to it as functional strength. If you're not able to do a bicep curl standing on one leg, what good is it if you can lift three to four times that amount if it's not going to be what we refer to as functional strength? strength. Just because you can bicep curl an abundance of weight, 
How does that factor into what you're doing in regards to movement, whether it's just everyday movement or sports specific movement? They always need to go together. Now, let's finish up this conversation. When you're running on this type of a treadmill that does not do the work for you, you're gonna have a higher calorie burn rate because of the activation of more muscle. You're gonna have a higher sweat, excuse me, you're gonna have a higher sweat rate. So please take that into consideration. You need to have a fan blowing on you because you are going to create more heat than you normally do. The more muscle you engage, the more internal heat, the more internal heat, the more you sweat. If we kind of fast forward a little bit, as you decrease your percentage of body fat, it's gonna be even easier for you to sweat, which puts a higher demand on your electrolytes and your fluid intake. So just weigh yourself before and after and get a good idea what your perspiration rate is. If you don't have a copy of our sweat rate, take a look in the description box below. When we're looking at your sweat rate, it's we need three variables and you'll see in the description box, or excuse me, you'll see in the resource exactly what those numbers are. But when we come back full circle, why would the heart rate be elevated? Because you're using more muscle. Make sure that you're keeping the core body temperature balanced and you'll have a very, very good workout. You'll get more out of that treadmill 100%. So hopefully that clarifies the value of perceptive balance, helps you get a better understanding of why we are so big about it here with all of our clients. And more importantly, I want you to have a better understanding of how do you proactively get ready to run on a treadmill like that? Because it is going to have a higher calorie and a higher burn rate on, excuse me, a higher demand rather on your sweat and electrolytes. So make sure you come into it prepared. Higher heart rate, it's, 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 it can always be a good thing as long as it's not something that we see the heart rate is elevated for an extended period of time, multiple days in a row. That creates what we refer to as oxidative stress, which is extremely hard on the body and causes premature aging and unfortunately fatigue related diseases. So thank you for watching this video. If I can help you in any way, please feel free to send me an email, contact at coachrob.com. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We put out a new video every day. Thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.